Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> this is another prison video. So the tag that I am doing this time is 22 random questions. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? I think that I would be like 10. I'm not, I'm like almost 16. Wow. Okay. If life is so short, why do we do so many things we don't like and so many things we don't do? I honestly don't know. Like, life is short. You just do whatever you want. And if you don't like it because someone else is forcing you or it's because you're someone else wants to do something that they want to do, that probably confused you. What's the one thing you'd most like to change about the world? Um, I'd like... People to be just nicer to each other. I'd also like a dog. If the world could change that. What? Okay. If the average human lifespan was 40 years, um, how would you live your life differently? Well, I would meet my internet friends. Um, I would go I would go to Minecon. Um, I'd go to PAX and I'd meet my heroes. My heroes are like Dan and Phil, um, Grades are 10, Strawberry 17, Tibsy. I love you, Tibsy, by the way. The are you more worried about doing things right or doing the right things? I guess I'm like more worried about doing things like correctly because the things that I have been assigned, like I'm, I'm very clumsy and I like mess up a lot. So I mean, yep. If you could offer a newborn child only one piece of advice, what would it be? Um, honestly, it would be like to follow your dreams and do what you love doing. Would you break the law to save a loved one? It depends. It really does depend. Like, honestly, if my loved one, like, let's say they murdered someone, I wouldn't, like, save. What's something you know you do differently than most people? I don't know, everything that I do is so different than what, like, most people do. Like, because, I don't know, what, what I dress, I wear different things. Like, some people are like, like Dan Howell, he's like, his thing is just all black, right? And then feels, like, all light. And I'm just, like, a mixture of them push together, and I wear whatever the heck I want. Most people just care what everyone else is wearing, which I think you really shouldn't. But, yeah. What's one thing you have not done that you really wanted to do. Um, I want to really meet my internet friends, Nick and Lane. Thank you. I love, yeah, you're awesome to me. Um, what's holding me back? Um, the thing that's holding me back, honestly, is just, like, the money and the funding. Well, it's not funding. Like, the money to go over and see them. But, I mean, like, I'd love to meet them at VidCon, because then I could, like, kill two birds with one stone is that a thing is that a thing still are you holding on to something you need to let go of um i don't think so if you had to move to a state or country besides the one you live in where would you move and why um i'd move to chicago why are you you well if you didn't know i'm not going to explain this no i'm not i'm not I don't know, it's just, I guess, it's how I was raised, I guess, to be like myself and that. I don't know. And I guess a big influence would be Dan and Phil and Grazer 10, because he's like, you can do whatever you want. He's also acts insane, so I don't know. Which is worse, when a good friend moves away or losing touch with a good friend who lives um, right near you? Um, when a good friend who lives, when you lose touch with a good friend that lives right near you. That's the hardest thing, honestly. What are you most grateful for? Um, I'm most grateful for, like, family and friends. Would you rather lose all your old memories or never be able to make new ones? Oh, that's, that's such a hard question. I mean, I guess, like, I would lose all my old memories because I can make amazing new ones because... I'm only, like, 16, so I've got life, I got a life to live. Has your greatest fear ever come true? Um, it has. Do you remember that time five years ago when you were extremely upset? Um, does it really matter now? Um, no, I, I don't. It doesn't really matter. I think, like, life, it goes on, and you're just gonna forget. The only things that you remember, honestly, are the good times that you've had, like, with friends and, like, family. What is your happiest childhood memory? What makes it so special? Oh, going to my cottage was my happiest 
childhood memory. And then, like, the fact that when we went, like, on the tube, it's like, I don't know. I'll probably put a tube up on picture on the screen. Yep. Um, and I, like, flipped off, but I didn't, I didn't just flip off. I just, I did a complete backflip and just fell in the water. And then my cousin just jumped off because I was so, I think I was, like, I had to be 10 on that. I had to be 10. So, yeah. Have you ever been with someone? said nothing and walked away feeling like you just had the best conversation ever when i facetimed lane that was that was an awkward conversation there like we didn't have much conversation but it's like it felt like we had a conversation if you want a million dollars would you quit your job well i don't really have a job but if if, if youtube counted as my job then no i would not quit my job i would i would get a mic number one that would be a major thing and I would get a pug because I love pugs. And I would probably go see Nick and Lane because they're... What is the difference between you being alive and truly living? Um, being alive is just like you're there in physical form. But truly living is you having fun, being truly happy, being who you truly think that you are being. And finding yourself would be honestly truly living. What would you do so differently if... You knew nobody would judge you. Um, I think I would probably, like, record outside or go outside because decisions are being made right now. The question is, are you making them for yourself or are you letting others make them for you? I'm gonna go lie down on the floor. This has made me, uh...